221. The originality that is the highest of life, is what the people most difficult to forgive. Azorin, 1873-1967, Spanish novelist. 222. I read, like everyone else, something about democracy, but I do not have a clear idea of what it is. Etymologically, it means government of the people, but I believe, perhaps I am deceived, that the people have never commanded in the most revolutionary times and that they will not rule in the future either. Pio Broa, 1872-1956, Spanish writer. 223. Authoritarianism. No, the true leader far from the current definition of the ray is in self-defense by the mass man and when it, it is authentic, it invests all its energy in surviving, safeguarding the lives and interests of others, what is granted, no doubt, has earned it well. J. M. Mora, 1968. Spanish author. 224. Abstract freedom, like other simple abstractions, can not be found. Edmund Burke, 1729-1797, British philosopher. 225. What do they have representatives or delegates that they send for him? It's the most stupendous farce that has been invented. Pio Broa, 1872-1956, Spanish writer. 226. Universal suffrage, which is itself a very bad political institution, an institution incompatible with any orderly political regime, and more if that regime is the monarchical, universal suffrage, even if it is true, and above all must be truth, it is incompatible in the long run with individual property, with the inequality of fortunes and with everything that is not an unattached and anarchic socialism universal suffrage can not be more than an instrument of socialism or a vile farce, and, in recent times, it is, under that final title, as I have judged it convenient to describe it, what the dangers and drawbacks of universal suffrage, it is useless to discuss it now who, who has even said that, after Spain has voted a law of universal suffrage, the opinions of the crowds, the poor, those who have nothing, will be represented at the polls. Is there anyone who even suspects this? Why discuss universal suffrage? I have already briefly indicated to what consequences this suffrage can eat. On other occasions I have discussed it, and, if it were the case, as a simple academic subject, I could discuss it again. Canovas del Castillo, 1828-1897, Spanish politician. 227. It is always dangerous to draw two precise parallels between one historical period and another, and among the most recent of those parallels are those that have been established between our own time in Europe and North America, and the epoch in which the Roman Empire declined into the Dark Ages however. There are certain parallels, this time, however, the barbarians are not waiting beyond the borders. Alistair MacIntyre, 1929. Scottish philosopher. 228. The only custom that must be taught to children is that they do not submit to any. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, 1712-1778, Swiss writer. 229. There has been an attempt to democratize Nietzsche, to make up, to domesticate him. Nietzsche was never, nor pretended to be, to democrat, much less an anarchist. It is a fable, but a fable institutionalized and legitimized with the academic stamp it is enough to be able to read it slowly. A condition that is required of its readers, to discover the opposite. Nicholas Gonzalez Vela, 2018. Author. 230. I believe that universal suffrage, if it is sincere, if it gives a true vote in the governance of the country to the crowd, not only unlearned, that would be the least, but the miserable and beggar crowd, it must be the triumph of communism and the ruin of the property principle, choose, then, between the permanent falsification of universal suffrage and the disappearance of property, when the intelligent minorities, who will always be the minority proprietors, find that it is impossible to maintain equal rights with them to the crowd, when you see that the prevails over the political rights that have been given, they will search everywhere for the dictatorship and they will find it.
Canovas del Castillo, 1828-1897, Spanish politician.